So guys, pretty exciting. This is Pete with Crunch Time Coaching and Rafa just won the 2017 Monte Carlo Open. He has reclaimed his status of king of clay, no question about it. And we're gonna talk about what does this mean going into the French Open? Because, uh, you know, if you were thinking about this last year, Rafa started to look very vulnerable on the clay. Novak Djokovic started to dominate the tour completely. And, and then also at the end of the last year, uh, Andy Murray uh, also looked like he was going to start to dominate. So we thought 2017 was going to be all about all about Murray and Djokovic. Instead, it's been all about Rafa and Feder. Pretty exciting. Two people that a lot of um, you know experts have written off, and and Roger is arguably playing the best tennis of his life, and now Rafa has been playing great tennis too, and now they're going into the clay court season. And it looks like there is no one there to challenge him. He just went right through this tournament. And then our other two superstars who we were thinking were going to have a great year, again, continue to show how they're struggling. Uh, Djokovic went out and, and it looked like he was actually getting tired in the match, which we haven't seen that. He was gasping for air again. So, uh, you know, what has changed? Has he, has he changed his diet? Is he not training as hard? Does he not want as much? It's it's a lot of question marks uh, for for Djokovic, and then Murray coming off of his, uh, I think it was his wrist or his elbow, doesn't look like he's a hundred percent and and lost as well. And Rafa just dominated the field, and I believe I would love to know your comments. I think it's going to just be more of the same. It, it looks like uh, Murray and Djokovic have lost a lot of confidence. And uh, Rafa has gained all of his back, and he's moving great. He feels the ball. He's super confident, fit, and uh, I don't see anybody challenging him. The, the most, uh, the hardest thing to predict is who's going to step up and and challenge him at the French Open because right now, it's like Rafa and the rest of the field, and the only other player who we would think would even challenge him right now, just based off of 2017 results. Roger Federer is not going to play any clay court tournaments unless he plays the French. And I bet he doesn't even play the French. In fact, after watching this week, if I were Roger, I would not play the French because if you, you're, you're probably not going to beat Rafa on clay. And, you know, what would have happened? I would like to know your comments. What would have happened if Roger, which he very well could have lost that match to Rafa at the Australian Open, would Roger have had this great run, or would Rafa had then started to dominate all, even all the hard court um, season tournaments? But I think it's clear that he's going to dominate the clay, and I don't see anyone who's going to challenge him. I would like to know, who do you think is going to be the main challenger? Is there going to be somebody who starts in this clay court season, where you're early in the clay court season, is somebody going to step up and start to challenge him and show that they are going to be the one that's going to be against him in the final? Is it going to be Novak? Is he going to turn it around? He, he's losing, but he's losing very, very tight matches. Is Murray going to find his groove? Is uh, Stan Wawrinka going to find his groove? Who's going to be the one who shows up and says, no, Rafa, we are going to challenge you at the French? Or is it just going to be lights out? Let's already hand the trophy to Rafa. He looks fantastic. I'm super excited. I would love to know your comments. So uh, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching with just a short video on congratulating Rafael Nadal for winning uh, and starting off the clay court season in you know pretty impressive fashion. And I think we're going to see more of this. I would love to know your comments. Who's going to win the 2017 French Open? Uh, stop one on the tour, on the clay court tour, uh, was clearly uh, Rafa showing that he is ready and he really wants to be back in the winner's circle on the clay. Uh, so that's it. If you like this video, guys, like it. Comment for sure. I'd love to know what your guys' uh, thoughts are out there. And subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. I do lots of videos on Pro Tour results as well as many instructional videos so you guys can keep improving and enjoying your tennis.